loves. Okay, we have another rendition of Beauty Buys. And this time it is a little haul on CVS's beauty section. So this is basically stuff that is new to me. Now you might have heard of it, but I haven't heard of it. I walked into CVS and I was like, what is this? Okay, so... So since I've done my little disclaimer about exactly what this video is about, let's go ahead and tiptoe right into the video. Okay, so like I was saying before, this is a CVS What's New To Me Beauty Buy Haul. That's a lot and I'm glad I slowed that down and didn't trip up on that. So we're going to first start off, I bought like a few things, so don't think this is going to be a long video unless I just start chatting to y'all and you know, then just tell me to hush and then I will stop and I'll get back to the point. So the first thing we are going to be seeing that I was just like, I just stood at it and I looked at it for like a good five minutes like, when did this happen? Are Milani's new lip, lip line. Okay, so I'm going to call it a lip line, but it's not lipstick. Like, I love my lipstick, as you can see, but this is not lipstick. It is Moisture Lock. It's new, Milani's new line of Moisture Lock. And I bought two of them. I didn't buy the whole thing. I'm sorry, I'm not balling like that. You're not going to see the whole collection on my channel. Okay? Because I have things that I have to pay for, and I'm responsible. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, the first one that I picked up was Rose Hip Oil Infused Lip Treatment. Now, I wish I could remember what it does exactly because they don't apparently have it on here, which is a shame. But I want to believe that it preps and primes. Y'all gonna make lips. me lift this up, huh? Fine, fine, lav loves, fine. So, I bought the grapefruit one here, which I have not opened yet. And it is a revitalizing lip treatment. So it revitalizes your lips. And it has uh, jojoba oil, avoca avocado, and tsubaki tis oil for added benefits. For added benefits. You know what? They're just telling me about them all. I'm mad at that. Okay, so they don't tell you in-depth detail on each one, which ain't cool, y'all. CBS. Okay, ain't and cool. the primrose is repairing. Ah, all that for just two words. So this one is... <laughs> Uh, repairing, revitalizing, repairing, revitalizing. But they have like a whole line. They have like the lemon and honey. What else? They have lemon and honey. They have coconut oil. They have um, raspberry. They have a an array of them. So I just picked the two that I felt my lips needed the most. And I have tried the rose hip oil infused one and I like how it feels on my lips I only tried it once so I can't really give you a full review but this is the applicator here it's really weird <laughs> it's very interesting you can just dab it on your lips or what have you and I put it on before I put on this uh, lipstick which is also from Milani so those are the first two that caught my eye that I hadn't seen yet from the Milani line or in any drugstore with that being said, let's get okay, to the next so one. I was I guess I was in a lip balm mood again, my issue. And I picked up CoverGirl's O Sugar Candy and it is vitamin infused balm um enriched with vitamins. So, which I think that's kind of repetitive, but I guess whatever. And I got it in the color Candy Bonbon. Bon. And here is this one. Yeah, I will make it focus. It focus like you've never focused before. Right. No. You know when you get that good focus but it's like not the right way. So this is the candy bonbon and it's a lip balm but it's supposed to have like a little tint to it. I will swab it. It's pointless. I will not swab it. Uh, <laughs> but it has a light little tint. I have also tried this one. It looks like a normal um, lipstick and I did try this one actually when I first bought it because I didn't have any lip balm on me at the time and it was very um I like it had like a s tiny smell to it I mean it's not the best smell ever and it did moisturize my lips and give them a little bit of color so I'm excited to continue to use it I really like the packaging I love the coloring of the packaging so you had me there covered all so like now that. that we're done with the lips 
let's go ahead and move on to the eyes as you can see I'm wearing my big falsies today um, I, I bought these from Shop Miss A, that's irrelevant. And I'm always looking for a good adhesive glue. So I picked up um, Mua, if that's how you pronounce it. If not, feel free to correct me. Um, Mua Clear Eyelash Adhesive, because I do not like to see the adhesive on my eye. I have not tried this one, but I have plenty of opportunities to try it. Let me open it up for you guys so you lab loves can see exactly what it looks like. The packaging was so pretty and I just ripped it up like a little, little, little savage. Let me see. And so here it is right here. The packaging in itself. And it looks like it's a simple applicator. A pointed tip. Ooh wee. And it is clear. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have got clear, y'all. That's going to be everywhere. So <laughs> there is this one and I am pumped to see how the this will work next out. one I guess we can stay in the eyes is um, you've all probably heard of it I know it came out maybe maybe six months ago um, this is my second one actually I just ran out of my other one so I ran to CVS this is what I originally went there for and ended up buying all this other stuff that blew my mind <laughs> and it is the NYX micro brow pencil crayon and so this is the one that I use on my eyebrows for everyday use instead of always using my Anastasia. So I, I don't think I need to go into details on this one. I'm pretty sure you've all seen this or have it for yourself because it's really, it really is a good eyebrow. The last eyebrow. one is for my nails because I'm going through a whole transition with my nails. I took my acrylics off and I'm trying to get my nails healthy and repair them and get them back to being just a little bit happier than they were being under acrylic nails with no air and nutrients so this is from beauty 360 or 360 however you want to call that and it is the mani pedi sticks and it's just to push back my cuticles and to clean under the bed of my nails so like i told you it was a tiny what's new to me beauty haul from cvs i hope you guys saw some things that maybe you might want to pick up and try yourself i say pick up one don't pick up all of them like i did that was just ridiculous but pick up one or two little items for yourself and try them out i love how we're moving into this new season in the beauty industry where we're doing things that are healthy for our lips and our skin and our eyes and our body so <laughs> i was definitely excited about the lip balms definitely check those out let me know if you, those were new to you or if they were just new to me and if you know of some things that are new that I haven't spoken about so that maybe later on throughout the season I could try them out all right lab loves with that being said with that being shown with that being done let's move on, on to live lavish love lavish and have fun and have fun. Until next time, Lab Loves. See you later. Hey, Lab Loves. I am so overjoyed to be sharing with you guys my Ecleptic Lip Balm Collection. I call it Ecleptic because I have several purses. And like as I go through them, I'm like, man. Like I find all these lip balms. And I thought, you know what? Why not make a little video of the 